I'm going to show you how I've set up Windows 7 so that it's more convenient for me. Um, if you're like me, you've probably got a heap of stuff on your desktop that you don't really need there. I've got a bunch of icons here on the left. Um, a lot of them are shortcuts for various uh, programs. Other things are old Word documents or you know, PDFs that I've put there because I've been working on them at the time and I just wanted to you know, keep them at hand. They're actually still saved somewhere else. Um, I don't really need these things. They, they're just cluttering up my, uh, my workspace. Now, if I want to um, get rid of these, I'll just highlight them all and hit delete. They'll all get out, out of my face and I'm going to end up with a much cleaner desktop. Uh, the reality is I just don't get to see my desktop much during the day. I'm usually in uh, uh, one of my applications like Word or I'm on the internet or I'm, I'm doing something in the school Moodle. So I don't usually get to see the desktop anyway. I need a different way to find these things. Um, the easiest way to find any program is through the start menu down the bottom left of the screen. If you click on the icon there, um, it starts with the cursor in the search box here and if I start typing something, C A L C for example for calculator, calculator is the first thing that comes up. I could click on it with my mouse or I can just hit enter and the first thing on the list um, will come up. So I've got the calculator there um, and I can proceed to use it and when I'm finished with it I can close it down. Um, if it's something I use a lot then I'd want to pin it to the taskbar. Pinning to the taskbar just involves right clicking on its icon on the, on the taskbar and selecting pin. Now when I close down the calculator it's the program is uh, the shortcut to the program is still down there and I can open it up any old time by clicking on it again. Uh, another way I can get things onto the taskbar is by just grabbing the icon for the program if it's over here on the left. So I can grab PowerPoint, bring it down there and pin it on. Now PowerPoint's not something I would use very often um, so I'm happy just to find it through the start bar. So I'll unpin that, I don't really need it there. These things that are pinned here are really handy because you can tell at a glance what you've got open. For example um, here I've got one night is highlighted so I've got something there and when I put my mouse over the top of it, it shows me what's open in OneNote. If I've got a, a couple of different uh, words open, so if I've got have one, and we'll open another one, file, uh, you. Okay, if I've got a couple of uh, screens open here, let's put some typing in that one, uh, and then I go and do something else and I minimize them. If I want to find them again, I can just put my mouse over the word there and uh, I get both of them. And I'll put the mouse over, that pops up, I can see what it is, and then I can click to select that I want that one. That's pretty nifty. Um, the other good thing about uh, these pinned programs down here is that if you right click on them, it takes you to something called a jump list. And that jump list has got all of the different things that I've been looking at recently. Um, if, it's, if, you, if there's something you're, you're you know, working on and you're going to come back to it quite a bit, you can choose to pin it as well to that jump list and it'll stay there. So it won't just be the most recent things, but the most recent things plus the things you've decided to keep there. Um, with, for example, Explorer, it shows you the frequent websites you've been to. And if it's a website you visit often, then you might want to have a look at it there. The other good thing about Explorer is if uh, you open it up, and you're on a web page that you use pretty often, for example, um, www.wikipedia. Uh, there we go, Wikipedia. Let's wait for it to load. Once it loads up, you can then pin the actual Wikipedia page down here as well. I just need to click on its tab at the top, drag to the bottom, and when it says pin to taskbar, there we have it. So I can pin that there and it opens up in a new screen, a uh, new window, I can shut that down and shut that down. Uh, now if I just want to go to Wikipedia, it's as simple as clicking there and it pops up. Pretty neat. Now that only works for um, Internet Explorer 9, it won't work if you're using Chrome or Firefox. Um, they still have the, the jump lists here, Chrome handles it a bit differently, they have most visited, followed by a recently closed, um, but uh, you can't pin uh, a Chrome tab down there. You have to do it through Explorer.
I guess that's Microsoft's way of keeping it in the family. Um, now the other cool thing is if you've got a few things open down here and you want to cycle through them quickly, you can hold down the Windows key and press Tab and it brings up this um, little cascade of windows. Every time you press Tab, it advances through. Or if you uh, keep uh, the Windows key held down, you can use the scroll button on your mouse to um, move the windows. And when you want to select a window, just click on the window that you'd like to open. So if I click on uh, this OneNote one, it'll open up. Uh, the other thing you can do is when you have it open, you can scroll through to the one you want. And then uh, say if I just want this, just take your finger off the buttons and it will pop up. That's all for today. Thanks very much.